thought I'd start off this week with my special talent. So, uh, it's Monday, and um, I would like to say hello to everybody. Um, it's actually a really gloomy day today, and um, I'm sure the sun will come out eventually. Um, I have the blues. Um, I started off this morning finding my harmonica because I was looking for it all over the place, and um, I finally found it, and then I started playing it, and then all of a sudden my mood kind of mellowed out. So if this video seems a little mellow, it'll get better. I'm sure it will. So Michael is the one that asked us about our secret talent. Um, nobody really knows that I play. I really like to play. Um, it's kind of my own private thing. I've never played in front of anybody, and this is the first time anybody has ever heard me play. So, um, yeah, it's kind of um, like I'm, I'm exposing myself right now. So, um, at least it's just this and not me being naked again. So Mara asked about our most embarrassing moment. The one that sticks out in my mind is really, really stupid. It was a whole new experience for me hanging out with the people that I was hanging out with, and it was the first party that I had ever been invited to. There was a lot of people there, a whole lot of people, and everybody was outside, and I was drunk. And I really had to go to the bathroom, and I felt nauseous, and I was crossing the street, and everybody was pretty much in the street, like everybody. Like right when I got to the middle of the street, like where the the line divides each direction, I was right there standing on the line, and I threw up. And when I threw up, I looked at everybody like I was looking around, like everybody was watching, and everybody was staring at me, throwing up right in the middle of the street. And then people clowned me, people were making fun of me, they were like pointing at me and laughing and I just kept throwing up. And I was really embarrassed at the same time and I was just kept throwing up, like the, the vomit wouldn't stop and, and it was just messed up and, and everybody was just looking at me and laughing and I was like, man, I'm never ever going to drink again. And I didn't want to go outside after I went to the bathroom that day, I just didn't want to go outside, I wanted to go home. It was embarrassing. Yeah, that was, that was, never want to do that again. Greg asked if um, the glass is half empty or half full. And, um, I mean, I'm an optimistic person. I believe in um, the theory of being here now. To me, the glass is full, half full. So that means that there is just a little more to enjoy of whatever it is in the glass. Johnny asked if we were able to broadcast to the whole world and the whole world was watching and we only had 10 seconds to do it, what would it be? Well, here's mine. Hey, what's up cuties? This is Mala and I'm still looking for my baby daddy, that little bitch. He looks like this, okay? So if you know him, Hit your girl Mala up. If I had 10 seconds, mine would be very simple. Don't give up. All right, I want to get a little serious today. Um, I actually want to ask a question that, that I've been wanting to ask all of you guys for a while. Um, I want to know what you guys think about homophobia within the gay community. It certainly does exist and what I mean by homophobia inside the gay community is um, people who discriminate gay people but are gay themselves. For instance, they won't hire or talk to or hang out with or um, just be around certain types of people, certain types of gay people, um, and who put them down. Um, and I want to know if you know anybody like that. I know it's a serious question, and um, I do tend to be a Debbie Downer sometimes. But, I mean, hey, why not? We have this forum, we might as well use it, and I really do want to know, so that's my question. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next Monday. And I will end this with a little tune from my heart book.